El sol cayó, la luna se alza y con ella llegan los mejores sonidos del mundo. Tus sentidos se despiertan y tus oídos solo Bien, quieren rock. Rock. Esto es Rockline. Conectamos tus sentidos con lo mejor del rock. Ok, gente de Rockline, estamos aquí iniciando de nuevo las entrevistas internacionales eh, que tenemos para todos ustedes en este 2022. Y hoy tenemos a una super guitarrista en este especial, Women in Guitars. Le doy la bienvenida a China Rocks de la banda Catalyst Crime. Welcome to Rockline, China. Hi. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Okay, Sheena. Sheena, at what point in your life did you decide to be a guitarist and what were your main influences? Um, so I guess it, it goes back to when I was like maybe 12 or 13. Uh, I used to want to be a singer and I used to sing in choirs and uh, on my own. And I think it just got to a point where I was like, I really want to learn an instrument to actually help my singing. And um, after like thinking about what instrument would be great, especially for the music I liked, uh, guitar just made the most sense. And um, at that point I was getting into like rock and metal as well. So I was just super, into um all those bands i was i was kind of like uh learning about at that point and some of them were like uh, for example iron maiden was the first rock band that i heard and i absolutely loved it um so yeah definitely that was uh, an influence and i i just kind of um explored different things you know like uh, uh i loved like um death 
So Chuck Schuldner uh, was one of the guitarists I found around that time and Arch Enemy. Um, it was just kind of a mix of stuff, right? Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. In fact, so I went from like blues to rock, to metal, to like death metal. Um, and then I got into like metalcore. So I was listening to like Kill Switch Engage and, and bands like Bullet For My Valentine. And it just kind of, I just got a mix of, of, of different influences really. Um, in terms of guitarists, I would say over time, um, I, I love, uh, well, I love the glam era of, of, of rock music. So I love Warren Demartini. I think he's one of the greatest guitarists ever. Um, uh, pa, uh, Marty Friedman is also um, such a major um, influence in, in terms Okay. Yeah, and, and, and you know, some of the ladies back when I was younger who inspired me as well were like Orianti um, and uh, Jennifer Batten. So, yeah. Oh, great. Ok chicos, bueno, le estaba preguntando aquí iniciando la entrevista con, con China, ¿cuáles eran sus orígenes como guitarrista y, su, y sus principales influencias? Bueno, me dice que comenzó como, como vocalista, pero pues se definiría como guitarrista después en, en, cuando entró a sus estudios. Y bueno, principales influencias, mencionó varias cosas, mencionó allí al señor eh, de Death, de la banda Death, el, el, el fallecido. Eh, vocalista y guitarrista, mencionó a Kennedy, eh, mencionó a, como, como principales guitarristas que más adelante le iba a preguntar esto, bueno, ahora lo volvemos a, a corroborar, a la guitarrista mítica de Michael Jackson, Jennifer Barron, también mencionó por ahí al señor Marty Friedman. Ok, China. Eh, bueno, China, who are you there? Three, who are your three favorite guitarists in the history of rock? My three favorite guitarists in history of rock. That's hard. <laughs> I would say, um, I think I mentioned them. I would say number one is Stevie Ray Vaughan because that was like when I was learning guitar, he was like kind of my foundation. Um, I'm, I'm self-taught, so I didn't really take any formal lessons. And I really felt like I made the good, a really good move listening to blues. And Stevie Ray Vaughan was definitely like, you know, a kind of a key player that I, I was like learning from in terms of like his style and, you know, basically shredding the blues. That was so influential to me. Um, I would say definitely uh, Marty Friedman because the style is just so, you know, creative. Um, I love the shrapnel artists of the 80s, Greg Hal, Marty Friedman, um, you know, Tony McAlpine, those types of artists. Um, and uh, yeah, Warren Demartini, Chuck Schuldner, I would say. Those are. Ok. Top. Ahí mencionó, yeah. le estaba preguntando sus tres guitarristas favoritos en la historia del rock. Y mencionó a, Ch a Stevie Ray, quien es un guitarrista de blues que prácticamente es como su mentor como lo dice ahí, después viene Marty Friedman, un guitarrista mega, súper reconocido, pues todo el mundo lo ama, y de Martini también. Bueno, esos son los tres guitarristas más importantes para China. Ok, China, your guitar pickups are from the Fishman Influence brand. How yeah. has your experience been playing with this brand? Yeah, um, I started playing Fishman's around a year ago. Um, I didn't really uh have a preference for pickups um of, you know around that time i just kind of i think before i, I back in the day i used like emgs or something um when fishman approached me to use their uh, pickups i heard good things um when i started using them i really liked them i like the uh clarity of the pickups um it's really like crisp uh clean sound um they're active pickups as well so Um, at least the ones I have on on my guitars and stuff. So um, I, I think they really kind of captured what I was going for in terms of my sound. Um, it's really like punchy and and um, just really crisp and clear. Ok, ok. Bueno, estaba preguntando a ella que trabaja con una marca. Bueno, ella trabaja con dos marcas. Realmente es con, en sus guitarras es con la marca Jackson y también con la marca Fishman. Y estaba preguntándole cómo ha sido su experiencia con esta marca. Dice que bien, que trabaja súper, súper bien con su sonido, con estos, estos pickups. 
y que lo, lo siente más claro, lo siente más limpio, que es una, ha sido una buena experiencia con esta marca. Ok, vamos a hacerle una pregunta referente a sus guitarras. Eh, Sheena, ¿cuál es tu favorite Jackson guitar? What's my favorite Jackson guitar? <laughs> uh, I, I love all of them. Um, I really can't say. So I, I really, so I have this one. This is the HT7 Modern Dinky. Um, I use this one just about for everything. And I think it's the most versatile guitar that I have. Um, so I use it for Catalyst recording um, for the most part and uh, any other projects I'm working with. Um, so that's just kind of like my number one in terms of like functionality and being practical. Out of my whole uh, suite of Jackson guitars that I do have, I do really like my Warrior, uh, which is a Dave Davidson signature model. Um, not only does it just look cool, <laughs> uh, it also just plays really great as well. Ok, nos acaba de mostrar su guitarra favorita, ahí la tenía siempre, toda guitarrista tiene su espada al lado y pues ella nos acaba de mostrarle la pregunta respondiendo cuál era su guitarra favorita, Jackson, ahí todos la, pudi la pudimos apreciar. Ok, Sheena, eh, how did you get to Catalyst Crime and how has your experience been in this band? Yeah, um, so Catalyst Crime... I guess I've been in this band, I've been working Catalyst Crime for a year now as well, um, a little bit over that. Um, so I think it just it just came about because I had known Zoe, our singer, um, you know, through the, the metal scene and stuff back at home. Um, you know, we were kind of in that whole, I'm sure you've heard of the 70,000 tons of metal cruise, that whole community. Um, so we had met each other on uh the boat and obviously we just have like you know the just that connection whether it's online or or whatever um i i had a connection with jonah the keyboardist composer of our, our bands uh, or you know, orchestrator of our bands um, and i knew the drummer as well um i also met the other guitarist kate on that same cruise so i just think um Uh, you know, just just knowing that I exist, I guess they reached out to me when um, the last guitarist Tasha decided to leave and, you know, they asked me to audition for the band and yeah, it just it happened. So um, it was really that we, we did know of each other and stuff and he, they just they leveraged that connection and, and reached out to me and I was super stoked to join the band. Um, and yeah. We're here oh, now. Okay, okay. Bueno, le preguntábamos a cómo ha sido su, cómo fue su entrada en esta banda Catalyst Crime, a quien tuvimos por aquí a su cantante, Zoe, la tuvimos el año pasado por aquí en una entrevista, y bueno, eso fue una de las sorpresas, ver a, a China en la guitarra, reemplazando a, a la antigua guitarrista, al antiguo guitarrista, y bueno, China nos dice que hubo una conexión dentro del, del, del mundo, de la escena del, del rock, a través del, de las redes, eh, la, la teclista la ubicó, hizo la audición para la banda y pues que ahora se siente súper bien, que hay un feedback muy chévere ahí, un feeling. Así que, bueno, son los mejores deseos para China en Catalyst Crime. Ok, China, um, I'm going to see a, bit, a Catalyst Crime video. Um, come back here. Ok. Ok. Vamos a ver un video de Catalyst Crime aquí en Rockline y regresamos para despedir a China. Solo tocamos éxitos en Rockline.
Estamos de vuelta aquí en Rockline. Estábamos viendo la banda Catalyst Grind con su espectacular guitarrista China Rocks, quien hoy nos está acompañando aquí en el programa eh, de nuevo con las entrevistas internacionales en Rockline. Y bueno, un placer iniciar con esta tremenda guitarrista. China, where are you? Back here. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, China. Um, this is the last question. Um, Oh, okay. Catalyst Crimes debut album has been amazing. How do you describe your participation on a musical level in this project? Yeah. Um, so with this first album, actually, I was recruited um, after the album had been uh, recorded. So there's a mix of guest musicians um, that are recording guitars in the band, which is members of Levi's. Um, Atrocity, um, uh, you know, Bill Hudson is an amazing guitarist. Um, so there are so many different guest musicians and I was recruited after it had been recorded. So my level of participation in the band has been really at this point, um, you know, making the music video and writing. We have been writing new songs and preparing for 
um, what's to come um, this year. So we have been writing, we have been recording, and um, I'm full on as a guitarist uh, recording those tracks, writing and recording those tracks. Okay, so I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. Eh, bueno, está, está aquí China diciéndonos cómo ha sido su participación en Catalyst Crime en cuanto a la producción. Nos habla que participó eh, en un principio con los invitados ahí que estaba el señor eh, vocalista de Atrocity, creo que también miembros de Lead Ice, y que ahora está participando activamente, escribiendo lo que se viene para este nuevo año. Así que estén pendientes que seguramente se vienen cosas súper interesantes con Catalyst Crime. Ok, this is the last question. <laughs> ok, China, what are your plans for this 2022? Uh, would you like to tour with Catalyst Crime and about the city in South America, Colombia? <laughs> yes, um, our plans, um, obviously, this, our plans have been kind of knocked about over the last year or so. Um, personally, um, and hopefully we can make this work, I would like to finally get on a tour. Um, with the band, um, to that is kind of at the forefront of our minds, you know, getting out there, playing shows um, as a band together. Um, personally, you know, writing, recording, um, you know, for Catalyst Crime, for my original music as well, um, you know, getting all of that into production and getting new music out there is okay. also a number one goal. Ok, bueno, ya nos está diciendo que pues tiene la esperanza de que se pueda realizar conciertos este año. Ya sabemos la situación del mundo actual, cómo está. A veces hay esperanzas, a veces no las hay, pero ojalá se pueda normalizar todo y pod 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 podamos tener a tremenda banda como Catalyst Crime en Sudamérica, eh, con tremenda guitarrista como lo es China. Y nos dice también que está trabajando en su material propio, o sea, lo, va, va a sacar algo original. Así que pues estaremos muy pendientes de esto, China. Okay, Sheena. Okay, Sheena. This is the end of this interview. Thank you Perfect. for accepting. Thank you so much for inviting me. Nice okay. to talk to you guys. Okay. Bueno, chicos, seguimos aquí en Rockline. Se vienen más entrevistas internacionales. Hoy estuvimos aquí con China Rocks, The Catalyst Crime, y volveremos en el futuro. See you in the future, China. See you. Peace. Conectamos tus sentidos con lo mejor del rock.